All right, we're taking a break from our regularly scheduled retro programming to bring you an unboxing of the KMD Chromatic LED wireless controller for Nintendo Switch. So for those of you out there that are fans of light-up controllers, this one is right up your alley. So I reviewed the KMD Pro Controller for Switch a number of years back and found it to be a pretty good replacement option for anyone looking for a third-party Switch controller. So I'm actually really excited to dive into this one if it performs anywhere near as well as that one did. Should prove to be a pretty good experience. But there's some other extra features on this controller that make it really interesting, such as the fact that it can do X input and direct input modes, making it ideal for PC use. And it's got a decent sized battery in there, so it should give us about 12 hours of play, if not more. Comes with USB-C cable, and of course, LED effects, and adjustable vibration. Adjustable vibration, for those of you who would prefer to have stronger or softer vibration effects. And then turbo and auto buttons as well. And on this side of the box, we get the nice KMD logo. This box got a bit smashed up since I've held on to it for so long, but that's all right. But it's a cool looking box, gotta say. I really like the uh, effects that they have going across the front and sides with these lines. And then we get a nice depiction of the controller there. And then on the back, we get those key highlights again, along with a wired and wireless pro controller designed for no compromises gaming experience with added mood lighting. This controller comes equipped with full motion and rumble support with extra features such as turbo and auto macros. Even the vibration intensity can be tweaked to your own preference. So this is actually pretty feature rich. That's really cool. It even has motion support. The controller also supports wired play on other USB enabled devices with both X input and direct input standards packed in. So that is excellent. 800 milliamp hour rechargeable battery, type C cable, X and direct inputs. Breathing and static LED effects, adjustable vibration strength, and then turbo and auto button functionalities does not support NFC slash Amiibos. Honestly, not surprised by that last one, but let's go ahead and get this opened up. So we uh, are not treating this box very well, unfortunately. I don't really care. Not today, anyway. So just a little plastic housing on the inside here that we're working with and there it is so USB-C cable out of the way first just standard fare and then we also have a nice little quick start manual in here that we'll take a look at in a second all right first of all let's take a wow you're packed in there really good look at that that held on really good. Excellent. Dude, that's... That's interesting. That sounds weird. <laughs> All right, so here it is. KMD Pro... Well, Chromatic. That's the name of this one. So, very interesting thumbstick grips. Look at those. They're very vortexy. Feel good, though. Yeah, it feels like it provides pretty good grip. So we've got home, share, turbo, and then we got plus and minus here. D-pad. Not too bad. It's a little stiffer than I'd prefer, but I don't think it'll be deal breaking once we actually get into the games. It doesn't have very good rollability to it though, so that's going to be problematic for fighting games, possibly. Again, we'll try it out. But yeah, these thumbsticks actually feel really nice. Not overly resistant, so just on that bottom end of my own personal preferences. Not bad. So face buttons are a bit louder, but not overly so, and I really like the gold lettering that's on them. It's very uh, Zelda-esque gold. And I really like that that like, mirrors the edge of the PCB, too. Like That's kind of a nice touch. Like Look at that. But the whole thing being clear is really cool. You can see the rumble motors in there. 
KMD on the back, our battery. So it's got a really good form factor. It feels comfortable. Triggers are decent throw ranges in here. Look at this. It's not too bad. And I like that these buttons are like smaller than typical Switch controllers too. Like that feels nice. So yeah, I gotta say, I'm actually really liking the look of this thing so far. Like it looks really nice. We're gonna need to get the lighting effect to try here in a second. So we got four more LEDs right here for player number as well. All right, but the time has come. Let's take a look at this user manual here real quick. So we've got like the RGB lighting effect down at the bottom. That's kind of fun to see. All right, so play with your instincts. All right, so we'll just pop the whole thing open like so, and we'll just start scrolling over. So, controller layout. Oh yeah, look at that. I didn't even notice that there's another button right here, so that's our lighting button. How about that? Very unobservant of me. So press the RGB button to change the light mode. It has three modes, breathing, sustained, and off. So here we go. Here's our different pairing methods for different devices using wireless. And then we have wired connections as well. Switch controller pairing. Yes, please be sure the console's not in airplane mode. My goodness, how many people have fallen for that one? So this is cool. You can factory reset the motion controls if you're having issues with them in the switch. Analog sticks. And then vibration intensity. That's cool. It can use the LEDs on the front for showing the vibration intensity. That's nice. Okay, so this is only available when it's connected to a switch. So this will not work on PC usage. That's good to know. And then that continues over on the back. So we've got all of our auto fire and turbo functionalities here. That's cool. Oh, look at that. You can actually adjust the turbo speed. That's cool. Yeah, and then just some extra notations here for using it on Android. And then on PC and iOS devices. So that's cool. Well, very neat. Alright, so just a quick demo to show off some of those lighting effects. Like, I haven't charged this thing up at all, but battery's still holding a charge in there. And there's some, just the default lighting we can expect. Light pipes go around the uh, midway point of the controller, it looks like. And i got to say, that's pretty strong lighting effects. Like, it looks really good. Yeah, that's, that's pretty fantastic. All right, so we're going to give this one some play time over the next couple weeks and drop a full review for you all shortly. So you can see if this is something you might be interested in picking up. Like, it certainly looks the part. That is not bad. But we'll go ahead and call it here for this unboxing. Be sure to hit that sub button notification bell so you can see when the review for this one drops. And also check out everything else we do on the channel because we have a metric butt ton of things and I'm sure there's something everyone will enjoy. And also be sure to hit that thumbs up, thumbs down, just depending on how much you like this. But until next time, my wonderful internet peeps, you all stay awesome, keep on gaming, and we will see you all back next video.